My name is Amina Shabira. I am project manager at the Swiss Center for Electronics and Microelectronics in Neuchâtel, Switzerland. After my studies in mathematics, I needed something more concrete, something more stuck in reality. Um, and at that time, there was a telecom bubble and it felt like the right choice for me uh, to choose communication systems. What attracted me immediately to uh, signal and image processing was that it was concrete applications that we deal with in everyday life. Uh, for example, with our smartphones, we keep on taking pictures and you can immediately apply algorithms that you learn in communication systems to the blur an image or remove red eyes. And that was super exciting for me. Studying at EPFL allowed me to have a scientific rigor and an openness in the spirit of how you're going to solve a problem. As a project manager at CSEM, we are confronted every day to challenges. The major one is innovation. We have to innovate every day because we are at the service of industrial clients. And when they come to us, it means that they did not find the solution anywhere else. We go from creating quality control systems for watch parts to highly accurate uh, positioning systems for surgery instruments. So we have to come up with new solutions. We also have to understand their language because we have to deal with doctors, we have to deal with the washmaking industry, and we have to come up with a solution that will serve them uh, in the best way possible. In this system, we created a highly precise positioning systems for surgery instruments. The idea is to use this for cochlear implant where we need minimally invasive surgeries. Um, and what we do at CSEM is create the tracking systems that will at all times know the position of the instrument with respect to the patient. So we created here a simulation where we can see on the screen where the instrument is and through computing the position of four LEDs using our cameras and space coder, we can position very precisely and highly accurately the surgical instrument. When I arrived at EPFL, there were very few women studying engineering. In fact, in communication systems, we were only 10 girls among 200 students. And now at CSEM, uh, I'm lucky enough to work for a company that received the first equal salary label. Uh, and beyond the salary, this tells you something about the culture uh, of this company in terms of treating women equally. Uh, so they're not just women, but they're engineers first because that's what matters for their work.